I want to hear. I want to hear the full the tale of the uh, the candy thong. I think the oh, world needs okay. to hear that. For context, right. I walked around a music festival with like a candy thong and a candy bra on. Actually, Callie and I did together, and we were trying to compete to see how many people would eat the candy off us, and like who would get could get the better numbers. And for some reason, I was kicking the pants off Callie, <laughs> and I, I don't know why. I think they were just like afraid to like you know whenever people came up to us, they were just like afraid to go for the you know the girls boobs or whatever like the bra but they're really into your dog yeah well they're, they're, were they eating it off your your bra yes, or your you panties no hands and eat a piece of candy off so you had to like get down and like bite one off the string did anyone eat off of either of your panties yes <laughs> either off the genitals okay. Definitely. i had i had probably close to it well i was somewhere around 10 or 12 people Tanner, you need to right tell off, a story right about, off the shaft about the guy who <laughs> was really fucking up all about his cock. Oh yeah, there was there was a guy. We, so we 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 amassed a troop. We brought enough that we like suited people up, and we decided to go on like a little candy thong brigade. We called it, and we were walking around just trying to get people to eat it off us. And this one dude ran out of his campsite, and like came right up to me, and he was like, "You, you like," he was just, like flexing, chest, chest puffing. And he's like, you think you're fucking, you know, you think you're fucking hot shit? And I was like, what's going what? on here? I thought it was a bit. I, su I thoroughly thought it was a bit because he was like all not, he was just unhappy about the fact that we were walking by with our asses hanging out. And then he, uh, he just pulls down his pants and like, like a whole grapefruit fistful of his scrotum. <laughs> Like he had, I don't know if he had grapefruit. elephantitis. It was like the size of a grapefruit. His testicles were engorged <laughs> with, I don't know if it was a tumor or what, but he was like, fucking look at this. And he just like, he's like, look at my testicles. Like, look at how big they are. And I thought it was a bit still. So I kind of laughed, which made him really mad. And then when I realized he was getting really mad, I was like, whoa, this is fucked up and weird. I'm going to walk <laughs> this away is now. Funny. I'm going to walk off with my candy thong. I was like, that's, that's cool, man. I'm, I'm going to go back and see, you know, hang out with my homies over there. <laughs> and I just kind of walked away. And it was, I don't know. It, yeah, just, it was it just the really weirdest thing I'd seen in <laughs> my life to, to that day, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so... That's the weirdest thing. So I mean, every, no, I love that story because every time you tell it, I'm like, is that even fucking real or is that a fever dream? <laughs> no, he, he looked like he was just had been wilding out for days and I don't, I don't know if he knew what he was doing like made sense but he was pretty confident in his gesture he, he was he was definitely doing it whatever it was he was yeah. doing it was like little man syndrome but in the opposite direction guy with giant balls good to go dude Tanner's it was probably the biggest balls I've ever seen in my life like props to the guy but I mean well yeah I mean like good for him I guess if it's yeah. not a disease but it probably is <laughs> And I had, I was walking around with like a bouquet of daisies in my butt crack mm. and I'd walk into people's camps and I just, I'd be like, you guys want some candy? And then I'd turn around and be like, you get a flower. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, it was, we were young. <laughs> we were young. <laughs>